Hey, hello, how's it going? Welcome back to another Slice and Dice video. It's me, Cranberry. Hopefully you are doing well. I'm doing pretty good, having a good one. Nothing super interesting going on, just chilling. Uh, yeah, um, yeah, I don't know. I did a stream yesterday. It was cool. It was fun. Uh, today, I'm going to be doing a slicer. And, I'm, and I'm, I've, I've noticed recently, I've had a couple days where I've done two uploads of Slice and Dice in the same day. I've noticed a trend where the earlier uploaded video just does better by like a decent bit. And that, that, that could be just because um, that video is a better video. It's more interesting as people click on it more. That's always a possibility. But I want to try to upload videos a little bit earlier than I have been lately. Um, and see if there's any noticeable change in analytics and stuff. So apologies for that if you're like a person who is like, I don't, I actually you know what? No, there's no reason to apologize. Who cares? The uploads earlier for you. Like, that's a good thing, actually. What am I talking about? I don't know. Anyway, let's play the game. <laughs> let's play the game. Uh, currently, I, I said it was a second ago, I did a stream yesterday. I did a couple of hard mode runs, and the win streak is now at 14. Uh, I, there's a good chance that one of the videos from that stream will get uploaded because I did something really cool. I don't want to spoil what the run was yet. But uh, let's just say it utilizes a tier 0 item to uh, devastating effect, which was really cool to do. So, uh, yeah. Uh, let's play the game. Let's hop in here. Keep the win streak up, hopefully. Uh, early curses. Love to see it. Meddler is a little bit spooky here. Got to be careful about that in the early game. Do not want him sabotaging the run. Uh, less max mana is, in my opinion, secretly a really easy curse. Because holding mana is fine, but you can also just use it, usually, to a decent effect, right? It's not that big of a deal to spend it, in my opinion. Um... Okay, well, if we ever get any generates, the idol of Pythagoras is pretty good. Um, Sorcery Notes doesn't do much for us here. Yeah, Sorcery Notes is just not really... Not it. Unfortunately. This is a good roll, though. Holy. This is a good turn, for sure. Um, can I even get to that, that archer back there? I don't think so. We'll just play it like this. But, uh, yeah, not being able to store mana, not really that bad of a curse. Not too worried about how this is going to go down. I'll take pretty much all of these. And then goodbye. Not going to take this chest here. It's, uh, it's the four randoms for tier one items. No thank you. Uh, hmm. In the early game here, Myko is fine with Lost. Being able to spore some of these Lost sides is pretty strong. It's not super important. I think I just take the Sphere here. Sphere is a pretty decent tier 2 green. We can definitely do worse. I think we'll take that and be not too upset about it. And I will... T oh, man. Leadway, it, it does nothing currently on Sphere. Not that It's not that big of a deal right now. But in the late game, lead weight will be a pretty big issue. Well, not a pretty big issue, but it will be noticeable. It will be a noticeable detriment for this run. But you know what? We always have a green character. Green characters suck. So we, we no matter what, uh, someone should be able to hold this probably and not be, not be too upset. So we'll be fine for now. I think the plan here is actually to uh, slam on one of these uh, wolves. Pretty good this turn. I'm going to hit the wolf here, I think. Set myself up for another, uh, or potential slay, I guess, here. Um. There you go. Very cool, very cool. I should, I should try to actually pay more attention to Sphere and utilize these, uh, these, what's it called? Uh, these 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 heavy slams more often. Um, I mean, this could be cool. You never know. I mean, this that's a, that's fine. Sure, why not? Add B, absolutely add B here. Add B, pretty easy curse. Not too spooky. Look at a vitality roll here, maybe, off of the, uh, the healer this turn. 
We'll see. Um, take that for sure here. We could hold this and probably do a slam. Or not probably, maybe do a slam here if we roll the, one of the re-rolls. Never mind, we roll uh, this instead. Um, so the archers are what's causing the real issue here. I don't think we can actually save the... Uh, the watch him who is this. I don't think we can save the healer this turn. So I think we have to just do as much damage as we can otherwise. Do this. Oh, we can save them both here. This is actually probably worth it. We're getting this done on the goblin. Maybe we're supposed to stun the rat here instead. Hold on, because no one else is dying yet. Actually, let's stun the rat instead. Keep them a little bit healthier overall here. Take out the archer. Looks pretty good to me. You see the metal did not summon a bunch of bones here. Ooh, good rolls, good rolls. Um, part of me we just hold this and we don't even use the pain side here. I think, I think that's wrong. Could go heavy slam here, just do four. That's fine. Build the goblin. Well, that's pretty good. B dies. It's weird because like sphere. Oh, ah, gross. There's a weird balancing act of when you when you go for the heavy slam and when you don't. You go for it here probably. Just slam one of these rats down. Or bones, I mean down. Yeah, there we go. Okay. Now just us versus one singular bone boy. Us versus two singular bone boys. What do you got for me, Sphere? And there we go. Fight's over. Cool. Uh, Bramble doesn't seem too scary, although the Sphere is going to be worthless as far as using using the uh, rerolls for Slam, which is a little bit scary. I'm not gonna take road here though. Poison versus bramble should be pretty useful. Hmm. Listen, I don't want to talk about left sticky anymore. Nightmare, nightmare stuff there. Monster, monster left one seems too impactful for a left side curse too. I think a random on average should be better here, but there's definitely some very nasty random tier one curses. Hey, handcuffs is not one of them. Handcuffs is fine. So I, I think this is overall better for us. Happy we went this route. Okay. Dodge just turns pretty nice on Rogue. Happy to have that. Maybe just slay the rat. Poison poison should get the the, the job done here, so I'm not I'm not too worried about uh not not rushing damage onto Bramble here. But I will say the rogue is not rolling much today. It's a little bit concerning. Uh, I think we just put damage on Bramble here. Okay. Uh, I'll take this. I'll take this. Try again. Okay. Um. Bramble down. I repeat, Bramble is down. It's just us versus two bones now. Seer has one reroll side left to actually hit. Which is not great. We can always turn other people's rolls into uh, slams here. Which is pretty good. Uh oh. That is another slam. Very cool. Okay. Uh, leather gloves on healer is nothing, pretty much. Uh, terrible on meddler, too. <laughs> but it's a good speculative pick here. It doesn't do anything currently, but it has good chances doing stuff later. So I don't hate it here. It combos. You know what it combos with? It combos with the, the, dead, with the, the uh, lead weight. We can do this, basically. If we want to, and then, like, you know. It's not good now, obviously, but it is, like, a thing. We want more keyword sides for Sphere. This is also not a bad line. It's not great, but it's it's something. I actually don't hate it. 
But I think with metal, we just want the bigger heels in general, so I don't think we would do this, but... It's a thing worth considering, is all I will say. Uh, I think I'm supposed to re-roll the, uh... The metal. I think I hold this one, though. Ooh, good rolls. We can convert this into a slam. I think we will do that. Oh, we can get an overkill here. Yeah, there we go. Cool. Very cool. Great work, everyone. Vampires are pretty easy pick up here. Very happy to have this. Um, you can hold the handcuffs for now, buddy. There you go. Hey, next fight. Not an easy fight for us here, I must say. There are some issues at hand. But uh, not too scary, honestly, in the grand scheme of things. We can stun this light here, which is pretty good. Um... We can just kill all the illusions this turn, which I think is fine. And we can we can, we can, use, we can use metal to slay the, the slate as well here, which is pretty nice. We get nothing, nothing too scary about this fight. It should be pretty easy to handle. Well, we do lose the ability to slay here because of the poison, but that's fine. He, he even runs away. Cool. Very good. Uh, diving suit, pretty nice on metal, just to get rid of those those uh, cantrips for the time being. And it will be probably decent no matter what we do, so I think that's fine. That's pretty solid, though. Um, Just just making my notes if, if Swordsman notes is ever good here. So far, still not worth it, I don't think, but... Gotta check it every once in a while to see if it's, if it's good here on this team. I'll settle for the, the mana here, I think. Stun looks pretty good this turn. Poison's fine. It's not terrible. And... Stun the bottom one, because the, uh... Vampire can take the poison. It's not that scary. Good opening turn there, though. Maybe we can roll a little bit on, on uh, Meddler here. Maybe not. Maybe that was a mistake. Apparently a mistake. My bad. My bad. I am not realizing that engage heal does do nothing. I mean, except for the fact that it does act as a keyword for slam purposes. I am now just coming to that realization, though, that it does literally do nothing for us here. Because, like, I, I, I mean, I guess if we have Icar Chalice at some point, it'll be useful. But beyond that, it, it is worthless. Uh, I like Caldera on this team. Doesn't hold the Diver's Helmet very well, but it's fine. And just a good, just a good blue in general. I uh, can put this, we can put this here. We want more mana, which I think is fine as well. They're pretty good stuff. Um. Okay, next fight. Healer. In danger. Um, we can double burst to keep them alive, so it's not too scary. But uh, gotta be careful. Looking for more mana on Caldera that's trying to think of anything. He seems dead set on rolling that, that cruel side though, or we can just roll nothing, okay, fuck me. Kind of kind of fucking miserable. Uh it, it'll be very important to roll uh what's it called here? Uh infuse. Infuse will be very important for us not dying today. Take the big heal here too. These are actually all pretty good rolls. Infuse, heal here. Just stun the B. Seems fine. Okay, Bell, what are you doing? Another another big AoE? Okay. Cool. I'll take this. Take the big heal as well here. Uh Yeah, we're fine. You need to just infuse again. The B runs away after the, uh, the AoE hit here. Yeah. It's an infuse. A tremendously powerful spell for that fight. Very cool stuff. 
Uh, Troll Nose is fine. Cart's more fun, though. I'll take a cart here. It helps out with the uh, whole handcuff thing as well. That's pretty solid. Um, but it doesn't mean two characters are going to have, like, no items. Which is unfortunate, but I think that's fine. I think that is fine. We can do this as well, then. We can put, like, both these curses here. Which is neat. Okay. Yeah, that's pretty cool. I'm okay with this. Mm. Good rolls there. We can take the poison for now. That seems fine to me. We have two more rerolls. We can we can try to hit something here, or not. Or yes, nice. Okay, good. Okay, who's doing the most damage this turn? I think that's the the line here. We can just kill this bee if we're worried about vampire, right? And then probably do like a little poison here. A little burst action here. We have one mana that we're wasting we don't spend here, so I think we just go like this and hit the slimer. I think that's fine. You can potentially hit like a uh, cantrip into the slimer here and then uh, skull for a lot of value. I think it's worthwhile. Uh, I don't think I'm dodging this turn. We avoid the poison if we do, but I don't think we have to. Um. Let's see here. That's pretty good. Slam here gets the kill. And the shade should run away after this, right? I think we have enough health here. Yeah. Cool, cool, cool. Um, No, I don't want to reroll Caldera. Caldera is feeling pretty strong right now. And Herbalist is a pretty just solid and safe pick here. Uh, I'm okay with losing our growth here to give another plus two uh, mana side on Herbalist. I think that's fine. Good use of the Diving Helm, and there may be fights, I don't know when, but we may, there may be fights where we want to just put triple dodge on Rogue. If we see, like, Hexia somehow, we still have Rogue on our team, but I don't think that's going to happen, so we'll see. Uh, just looking for cantrips here, I think, or that, that's pretty good, too. I'll hold this here. Very good chance we're going to end up just uh, slamming with this Caldera hit right here, I think. But, oh, if we... No, I don't think we do that. I think if we do it this way... Or technically we go... Uh, where do we go? I don't know. So here's, like, the line I'm seeing right now is that we can kill a bone and then scald and kill the sniper in the back, which is pretty sweet. But the question is, who is more... Which was which one's more important to kill? I think it's this one here. Yeah, okay. I think we do this. Um... Oh, that doesn't even... Ah, oh, doesn't even get the kill, actually, though. Shit. Okay, so it doesn't actually save Herbalist. Which is... Which is fucked. Um... Do this. That's fine, then. I guess we should roll Sphere for a stun. Nope, okay, whatever. Yeah, it's fine, it's whatever. Gets the job done, nobody dies, it's decent damage. Okay, top B is dying. I'll keep the stun this turn just in case. There we go. Um, this is a pretty spooky fight here. I don't think we want to risk this for the uh, the uh, the fucking red blood cell. Uh, do we take crystallize on the speculative pick of seeing uh artificer and being pretty happy? I think it's fine. I'm okay with this. We also put this. If we see dice later, we can put this on dice and it's pretty solid. Cause the it it, inval it it neutralizes lucky then, which is pretty cool. Okay. Only vampire dying here. Honestly, pretty good news. I was expecting uh, more damage. So that's pretty good. Who's actually targeting you? Ghost and Militia. Okay, well.
Let me play it that way. Do a little vine hit in here. Scald kills ghost here, so the plan is just to maybe put a little bit of damage on this imp as well and then start scalding them down. We'll see how it plays. Um, I don't hate the big heal this turn, but I kind of want mana. But I think it's, I think we can hold it. Mm. Okay. Oof, okay, hold on, that's an issue. Um, kill here, stun here, heal here. Okay. Us versus a single imp that looks doable. I believe we win this. Let's see. We need a slam. Okay. That'll get the job done. Rotten. I mean, listen, I'm sorry, Vessel, but it's an obvious Warlock pickup here. Warlock is the goat. He's the man. And, uh... Yeah, that's a pretty easy choice, honestly. We have so much mana generation, too. Like, come on. Like, come on, man. Uh, nothing... I guess we can put the Diving Helmet here now. And get a reroll, which is fine. Because the Herbals was getting nothing off of Warlock off with the Diving Helmet. So that seems fine here. Beyond that, anything to do? Uh... Oh, I forgot we have the we have the, the the cart with Atlas Stone. Oh shit! Damn, that's pretty sweet. I didn't even notice. Yeah, I should have. I, I that that's a bit of a misplay there. I forgot about the the Atlas Stone and cart. Okay, cool. I'll take this. Roll the rest. Devil keep the poison here this turn. Stun's not bad either, that's fine. We can blaze, but I think we do just genuinely want to focus down these uh bones first, although I will I will take out uh I will take out a uh what's this called? I will, I will put poison on rotten one when I get the chance here. Started to start working him down. You know, I wonder if I do. Well, actually, you know what? I want the regen. I think plus instead. I'm not. I'm not thinking about it more. With warlock having the pain sides, I want to care a little bit more about keeping him healthy. I think that's a good way to do it. Um, put this here. Well, uh. Oh, sorry, Juan. That's fine. Yeah, I don't know. I, I think I think we got this one wrapped up here pretty much, but I think I I think I want the the plus. I, want, I think I want the Atlas Zone on Herbalist so I can heal the Warlock more. That is the realization I've come to here. I believe. And, uh, we'll take that and leave. I don't hate Copper Ring. I think we can take this, honestly. I think two rats in this fight, not a big deal. I think the mana storage with our with our curse of having minus one mana storage is pretty decent to compensate. Um, put this here. We have wolf ears, it doesn't go anywhere, but nice to, nice to know. Does, does Bull do anything? Pretty sure the answer is no, okay. Um. Uh, I think I just take the enhanced wand here. I think we just slap this onto Sphere for now. Handcuffs can go down here, whatever, that's fine. Well, I think this makes the most sense because... Oh, sorry, this way. Because we need to cover that blank. We don't need to. We don't need to cover that blank, basically. This all looks good. And next fight. Give 
Give me this. Give me the wand, sure. Okay, I don't love that, but whatever. It's not a big deal. I can take out a rat here if I want, which I think is fine. That looks pretty good this turn. Warlock is uh, regen up here too, which is good. I need to hit mana this turn. I need to I need to stun this Cyclops. He's doing way too much damage. Okay, that's good. Okay, all very good rolls here. Um, maybe the sphere uh, stun isn't that good. I guess this is fine. That's whatever. Okay, we're fine here now. We we've we recovered. I think at this point. Um, the, the poison two is not that good. Why are you plus one to all your things here? Why do you have plus one? Oh, I, I permit this to you before. I'm like, what? What's happening? What? What? What is this? I figured it out. Yeah, this is not the best line ever. I think we need to be a little bit more cautious, actually, here. Take a little bit slower. Go for an infused line instead. And we should be able to kill the troll next turn. Okay. Yeah, this is better. Um, No need to heal here. Really just looking for mana. There it is. Cool. Okay. Never any doubt we're winning that one. I'm not taking Tainted here. Doctor's a very good pickup for us in this team. Happy we don't have that left side sticky as well now, too. That would have been very annoying here. Um, you do this instead, actually? I don't know. Does it matter? I guess this is more... This is better. We're, we're just rolling down for mana on Herbos anyway, usually. I guess putting the regen here is probably a little bit stronger. Okay. Um, beyond that, anything else we want to do here? Not really, I don't think. Um, you know what we could do? We could do... Uh, if, we, if we wanted to bypass lead weights, for example, we could do... Actually, I don't know where this would even go at this point. We could do this, for example, and we could do lead weights and then uh, bull. And just and then get those back. Not that it matters. It doesn't do anything here on this sphere anyway. But it is like a is a potential line for the future. Maybe to to mitigate the lead weights curse. Um. Not seeing anything else to do with the items. So let's go on. Bit of a spooky turn here. Looking for maybe a cantrip hit or two here to go with the bloodlust. Yeah, that's pretty good. That is pretty good. Um, I will hit the Basilisk. I'm going to even put this on Warlock 2 here. And... I don't love this line, but it does more or less get the job done here, I think. Keeps Herbos alive. We kill the Basilisk. All we have is a ghost. We do have trouble killing these thorns, I'm realizing. We don't do a good job of that. On this team. Hmm. Interesting. How do we handle them? Curious. Okay, well, for starters, I need to kill this ghost, I think. That's good. Okay. I need to, I need to poison one of these here. I hit like that, okay. Did they run? It's pretty close to a retreat, right? Yeah, there we go, okay. Uh, Thimble on Warlock is a pretty easy pickup here. Twisted Bar is not bad, obviously. Com combos with the uh, the perma boost here, which is nice. 
I think this is just too good of a combo to give up right now. Or too too good of an item, I guess, to give up. We could go, you know what? I like going stasis on the wand so we don't lose it. Because we're not we're not perma boosting on this here, so we don't care about you know sphere not getting perma boosted. I have just I have just noticed this is an option for us here, which is pretty strong, so we'll do that. Okay, we'll take this. We'll keep rolling here. Uh, I don't love these rolls. Okay, good stuff, good stuff. Four, five, six, seven, eight. I guess we can do Prima Boost here. I don't think it matters too much where it goes. Well, I have whip. I have Vine too. Didn't even make the connection yet. Okay, well, fuck you, asshole. Well, that gets pained. Doesn't do anything because he has thimble. He can he can eat shit and go to hell. And I get something here. There we go. Cool. Very cool. Very good. Uh, I don't want either of these. It's too late for luggage, I think. We can get some good items, obviously, but like it's statistically not going to be great, probably for us at this point in the game. And Wraith is very bad. I think let's go for a random here. Bay is probably like the best red we could have on this team. I feel like so. This is very good news. Very happy to have this. Oh, this goes here. Sorry, hold on. Goes over here. Atlas Stone goes here. And anything else to do? Oh, the thimble. The thimble. Thimble fell off. That's it, right? Yeah, okay. We have... Oh, we, we lost Vine Whips now. So we can't just instant kill the Slate super easily anymore, which is unfortunate, but that's fine, honestly. Um, What am I looking for here? I think I'm actually just looking for Cantrip hits on the Slate, maybe. Okay, I'll settle for now. Okay, good. That's what I was looking for here. Um, this can go like here. This can go like this. That seems fine. Could kill the bee there. Maybe actually it's worth it to kill the bee. Thinking about it more. But, um, we have access to some pretty good stuff here. Stun should be pretty good this round. Regen's pretty good this round, too. I think the poison. Poison's fine. Okay, Warlock. Actually dead to me. Hold on. Put this here. Spell rescue, spell rescue. Spell rescue. Okay. Good stuff. Put a burst here. Pass. Yeah, everyone's in spell rescue range as well this turn, which is good news. Just need the warlock to actually roll mana this time. Keep perma boosting the uh, the fate probably here. It's a good, it's a good character to hit with it, honestly. What, what did I just do? Or or R? Sorry, R. There we go. Um. Classic troll kill, easy peasy. Unfortunately, no turn one troll kill. Tragic. Uh, Sparks is gonna be mana positive pretty often on this team, but not shoot, not like guaranteed. Um, yeah, it's only mana positive if we either get like a crazy bloodlust or if we get some perma boost onto warlock. I think it's just a random here, honestly. A pair of kings. Hmm. Just looking around. That's fine. That's a bit of extra mana pretty consistently. I think that's okay. Uh, we could try to get a pair of kings maybe on the perma boost one, but 
Item configuration is just not really worth it. I don't think they try to go for that. Um, regen not looking that good here. We're just gonna look for I think mana uh, on this one. Take this as well. Uh, stun's pretty good this turn. We can take a stun. Okay, good stuff. Good stuff. Um. Both of you don't die, which is nice. We can blaze anyone. Just thinking. Um. I guess I got the fanatic, honestly. He's doing a lot of damage and stuff. Let the bead die. Seems okay. Not super worried about the golem. The golem dies to a single blaze right now, too. As long as we keep him in check, we should be okay. Uh, dodge on Rogue is pretty good this turn, too, it looks like. We can hold that. I'm not too worried. And... Dodge. We should do, uh... This. Um... Another little stun. I like the idea of bursting this zombie to the point where maybe we can get a cruel hit from rogue to one shot. It's not super important, but it is like slightly more efficient. Look at that. Cool, cool, cool. Blaze you. Can't stun. Oh well, no big deal. No biggie. We'll be fine without being able to stun this turn, I think. We'll manage. And, uh... Yeah, this one feels like a pretty easy dub. I mean, maybe things can fall apart here. I don't know, but it feels pretty over. And there's the dice, which does combo with the uh, stasis. I think I'll be taking that here. That can't change anymore. Um, let me test it go somewhere though. Hold on. Let's do this. That seems fine. And then we can do, we can do, we can do this line. We can do this shit. Keep it like that. That looks pretty good to me. Although the wands aren't in play anymore. Shoot. Hmm. If we do this instead, and we do lead weight. And just no, no pair of kings. Could take the atlas stone off and put the pair of kings up here. Probably, probably, we pretty consistently have two pip sides here. So hitting, uh, hitting pair like this is probably pretty good. And we can actually do, uh, this then as well. And give that pair of kings, which we, we also hit pretty consistently with our with our cantrips here. That seems fine. Ooh, nice that the warlock's also copying the six heals now. I like the reroll, but this seems probably pretty strong too, honestly. Hmm. I think this is fine. Here, you know what? There you go. Ah, shit. Engage. Perfect. Okay, six shield. Pretty good this turn. I think we'll take that. Keep rolling. Don't love poison, Nova. Here, I'll take the poison, though. On rogue. That all looks pretty solid to me. Start working the Banshee down. I hate the Banshee. Very annoying enemy. That seems fine. Okay. Oh, you know what? Dice doesn't even care about the stasis because we have, uh... We have, uh... Or it doesn't care about the weakness because we have stasis still. That's very cool. Did not even realize that. Dodge is pretty good here.
We can do we can do some stuff actually here. Hold on. Get the spell rescue. Put this on yourself, I suppose. Let's kill the chomp this turn. I think that's fine. Okay. Us versus a single troll. I think we win this, personally. We also just have enough mana for our blaze here, so we'll do that, I think. Okay. Uh, Angel Feather versus Eye of Horus. I mean, Angel Feather on this dice is obviously sick. Six shield, having Angel Feather is very good. Kind of just don't have room for it either way, though, is the problem. But, you know what? I think I'm going to take Eye of Horus here, honestly, instead. Might seem kind of wrong. But I think this is just pretty good. Call me call me sick in the head. Call me crazy. But just putting Eye on the Perma Boost wand looks pretty decent here. And, uh... Should be pretty easy to uh, boost it as well. I'll hold this. That seems fine. Makes this turn pretty safe. Um, I think I want to blaze the shade, which maybe is a little excessive. But it does get rid of it forever, which is pretty nice, I feel like. <laughs> Anywho. Okay, not even in actually that much danger this turn. Doctor apparently was pained though, which sucks. That's kind of annoying, but we'll be fine. We will be fine. Uh, I don't know what I'm even looking for here, I guess. <laughs> eh, whatever. That's, that's okay too. Um We have obviously a lot of mana here. At our at our disposal. Um, I want to kill these fates that are up here, just being annoying and shit. I think, or wisp, I mean. And then snipers are targeting the doctor here, so we'll do this. I'm gonna stop everyone from putting pain on me. Although that's you're putting pain on warlock who doesn't actually care. Never mind. That's better. That is better. Warlock has the thimble, so pain doesn't do anything. Give me this. Give me that, absolutely. Hamana, Hamana, Awuga. Um, we could roll. It doesn't do anything, but fine, whatever. Um, I'm trying to see if we can get, we can get strand value here. Which is fine. Take this. It's actually killing you. Okay, well, this. Strand here now. You're doing more damage. And then you run away. Last fight. We're against the inevitable. Um, Agent's probably a little bit better here. Doesn't matter too much how you play this one, I don't think, but, uh, it's fine. And, uh, anything else we do here? We don't put wolf ears on. Uh, we had this on before as a joke. I think we're all good to go. I do wish we had Parma Boost and Stasis on the same character here. That'd be pretty nice. Can we, can we mix that in somewhere? Is that worth it somehow? Hold on. We would lose, if we put it on dice, we would lose the shield side. Oh shit, I didn't mean to do that. Get out of here. If we put it on dice, we would lose the shield side. Is that even that big of a deal? Hold on, let's, let's look around for a second here. Put this up here, for example. We could do this. That doesn't look that bad either. Hmm. 
Hmm. We put this here as well, which is maybe kind of cool. Not many three pip size to actually hit off it though. Yeah, like this, and maybe bloodless sometimes, depending on the situation. Hmm. This seems neat. Let's do it this way. I don't think it matters too much. I think we kind of win this no matter what because we have Warlock into Inevitable. So I'm not I'm not too shook up no matter how this one plays out, but... There's some neat stuff happening here. Oh, man. This is actually pretty interesting to use the, the poison side. I don't hate it, but I don't love it either here. I don't think we go for it. Worth considering, though. I think we take out the B rather than take the damage. Um, I don't mind them making more health for the wisps either, either here. It's not that scary. Cleanse pair. Oh, well, pair is just there on its own. So whatever. Um, you can probably do better, hopefully. You can do worse as well, I suppose. Oh, I guess we're cleansing today. Um, hold on. Uh. Wisps are down finally. It took longer than it should have. But we're here now. And. We'll take a big hit here. That looks pretty good. Well, maybe we don't even want this. I think we're going to end up blazing this turn. So I think we just want to look for uh, defensive options off of our. Uh, our uh, what's it called here? Off of our dice. Crew Esh. So that's if, if Cruel is enabled. Uh, flesh triggers, right? Yeah, okay. Not that good this turn. Wait, did they both get crew -esh? Hold on, what is this? Really? Wow, that's so bizarre. Whatever, okay. I mean, it can, it can happen. Right? That's whatever, but still, weird. Put this. I'll put this on Warlock. Warlock's the most important character on the team. They should be the one being protected. Okay. Um. I'll hold this, I suppose. Although I think we just have lethal now. Or we're close. We're not actually lethal. We were one off. Tragic. Doesn't matter too much. Yeah. This was. This was not even close to being a real fight. They never stood a chance. You know what? There you go. Agent, Agent gets the kill here. Cool. Yeah, a lot of very powerful stuff happening on that team. We really only needed one of those, like, sick combos to win, and we had, like, a bunch. We had, like, the, the Stasis Dice, which is a very strong. We had Thimble, Warlock. We had a lot of mana, and then Fate, and, like, everything was great. Obviously a very strong one. And what was cool about this... Is that we've tied my hard mode PB now for win streaking. So next run, it's it's only it's only gravy from here, right? My my goal, hopefully, and we'll see if we can make it. My goal is to make it into top fifty for hard mode win streaking. So if we check the leaderboards, we check it from here. No, okay, because we can't submit either. Um, we check the leaderboards. I believe it's somewhere around like twenty three ish. We need to make it to the top 50, something like that. Let's see. Where's Voix? So that Voix is like somewhere in here, right? Was he like 30 something? Where is this fucker? There he is, 37. It would be cool to beat Voix as well, but my goal. Oh, 27 to get the top 50. Yuck. Okay, well, that's the, that's the plan. That's what we hopefully make it to at the very least. We'll see if we can get there or not. But thanks for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed and hopefully I will see you for the next video. Uh, goodbye.